Coding in the standard ChatGPT interface can be challenging. As your project grows, managing the source code becomes increasingly difficult, and features like editing, code reviews, and debugging are not fully supported. That's where OpenAI's new Canvas comes in. It's not just another update. It's a game-changing interface designed to help you organize code, get real-time suggestions, and debug effortlessly. So in today's video, we are going to build a simple to-do list app using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript while exploring the new Canvas interface and its features. Let's dive in. Once we're logged into ChatGPT, look for the Canvas option on the main menu and select it. The Canvas interface isn't just for writers. Software developers can benefit greatly from it too. Coding is an iterative process and it can be hard to follow all the revisions to your code in chat. Canvas makes it easier to track and understand changes in your code. Let's build a simple to-do list app using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. We'll start by creating the structure of our app with HTML, then move on to styling with CSS, and finally add interactivity using JavaScript. With the basic structure in place, let's explore some of the key features of Canvas that help enhance our development process. First, we have the Code Review feature. After we write our initial JavaScript functions for adding tasks, we can use the Code Review button to get inline suggestions from ChatGPT to improve our code. If we think they're good ideas, simply click Apply, and ChatGPT will rewrite those sections. Next, there's the Add Logs feature. Debugging is an essential part of coding, especially when things aren't working as expected. With Add Logs, we can automatically insert console log or alert statements to understand what's happening in our code. For our to-do list app, we can add logs to track when tasks are added or removed, making it easier to debug functionality. Another useful feature is Add Comments. As we code, we can click Add Comments to have ChatGPT insert explanations for each function or block of code. This makes our code much more understandable, not just for us, but for anyone else who might work on the project. For example, ChatGPT can add a comment explaining how the Add Task function works, which will be helpful when we revisit the code later. If we encounter an issue, such as a button not responding or an error in the console, we can use the Fix Bugs feature. ChatGPT will analyze the problematic code and suggest a fix, saving us a lot of troubleshooting time. This is particularly helpful for common JavaScript errors that can be difficult to pinpoint. Lastly, if we want to make our project more versatile, we can use the Port to a Language feature. For example, if we need to collaborate with someone who prefers Python, we can translate our JavaScript code into Python with a single click. This feature makes our app more adaptable and accessible to developers with different preferences. Once we've built our to-do list app and used these features to refine it, we'll copy the entire code into a coding editor like Visual Studio Code. This way, we can see how it works in a real development environment, verify that everything functions correctly, and make any final adjustments if necessary. ChatGPT Canvas is now on the beta version, but OpenAI will continuously improve it. It's currently available to ChatGPT Plus users, but not yet to those on the free plan. Compared to the classic ChatGPT, Canvas provides an advanced experience that boosts productivity, whether we're writing or coding. For writers, the new Canvas interface is like having a virtual assistant and a whiteboard in one, helping us draft, edit, and organize everything in the same space. For developers, it's an integrated environment where we can code, debug, and improve, all without jumping between tools or losing track of our coding process. If you want to learn more about ChatGPT, make sure to check out our playlist for more videos.